Now, traders at UBA said this week's uh, FAC disbursement and a coupon inflow were not uh, enough to lift li liquidity in the system. Chuka Nwachuku, head of ALM and balance sheet at UBA, joins me now for more market updates. Chuka, thank you so much and happy Friday to you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Happy Friday as well. Well, let's, before we go into the weekly wrap, let's uh, I'd ha like you to bring us up to speed on today's uh, trading. And of course, as you know, as a final trading uh, day for the first quarter, but bring us up to speed on today's trading action. Yeah, thank you, Esther. Um, today has been really quiet, um, especially with the um, FX auction today. And then, um, like you mentioned earlier, illiquidity in the system. And so usually on Friday's trading, um, it's a day for stock taking, and then um, generally uh, the market is really quiet. But this day um, has been a, a bit uh, different in the sense that um, um, the, the liquidity, um, illiquidity in the system is actually affecting trading. Um, so we've seen a lot of uh, sell off, um, especially on the bond side, you know, just to create liquidity. Okay, let's take a couple of steps back, uh, just looking at uh, the first quarter as a, as a whole. Uh, what are those highlights that stand out for you? Perhaps a change in trends? Uh, we d I know that at some point uh, investors did focus on some uh, maturities on, on the yield curve on, at the bonds market. But talk to us, what are those highlights that stand out for you? Yeah, the highlight that stand out for me um, is on the, on the increments in yield. Um, this is because uh, we've seen the uh, yield uh, move um, from 11.5 to about 16.2 levels, um, especially on the longer end of the curve. And so um, this actually brought a, um, a lot of excitement in the market um, because um, um, a lot of, um, uh, from, from where we are coming from, um, you know, when yields are really low, it's not an exciting um, um, area to play on. And so um, that has actually stand, off, uh, stand, uh, stand out for me um, in this uh, quarter. All right, let's talk about uh, some of the highlights that we've seen this week. Back to that, especially the liquidity uh, monies from the Federal Allocation and uh, Federal Accounts and Allocation Committee. That did come in, but that wasn't enough to lift the uh, system liquidity. But talk to us, uh, are you expecting this to improve in the coming week? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, this week we had a FAC payment, um, well over 700 billion, as well as a coupon payment about uh, 131 billion, that's well over 800 billion in the system, but yet um, the system is still very tight. And so um, the, 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 the trading for this week actually has been characterized by the um, tightness in the system, and that has really affected the trade as well. Um, on Wednesday, uh, there was an NTB auction uh, where uh, 145 uh, billion was uh, offered and sold. Um, but um, the significant thing about it, uh, this auction was that we saw about 300 um, a, a basis point move, three to four, uh, 500 basis point movement across the, the um, three maturities. Uh, for example, the longer end, which is the one year, um, you know, closed at 14.7 um, at, uh, levels um, from um, 9.49 uh, uh, levels. And that's uh, well over um, 500 basis point movement. And so, you know, it's, it's been an interesting uh, end of the week um, at trading activity. And then um, uh, we hope that um, next week um, we will see a better trading um, activity. To come to the other question, um, what I see um, playing out. Um, between now and the next two weeks, the system will be still be very tight. Um, but uh, going into the middle end of, um, um, uh, middle end of um, um, April, uh, to the end of April, we will see um, huge liquidity. Well over uh, 1.7 trillion will be uh, will, will, will be um, inflowed into the market from uh, maturity uh, of um, 2023 maturity bond um, keep on payments. And so um, we're hoping that um, uh, when that happens, um, the system will continue will be will be pretty liquid, and then some of this uh, trading. Um, issues we're having as regard the uncertainty will end. Yeah, you went ahead of me there. I was going to ask you, that was going to be my next question. I want to ask you, going into the, uh, the next quarter, uh, the investment play for the equities market, this is the time where portfolio managers are going to take a step back, you know, look into their portfolios, look at what they, they want to, you know, share what they want to add, you know, just general rebalancing. Uh, talk to us about, I mean, the investment play for, especially for, of course, institutional investors at the fixed income market. Is that, do you foresee a change of play or it's just going to be the usual uh, drivers, you know, levels of liquidity at the market, uh, rising yields, et cetera? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, the liquidity we drive um, yeah, trading in the second quarter of the year. Um, one of the significant things that uh, happened this week was the uh, the bond calendar that um, was um, um, was issued. Um, we see um, new um, reissuance. Um, the 2028 we continue to be issued. Uh, then um, the 2029 was uh, brought back um, as well as. Um, uh, 2042. So uh, we we'll see uh, we're going to see a lot of uh, borrowing from the uh, from the federal government, and that is you know looking exciting because um, when that happens, uh, it means that uh, the high yield we've seen so far um, on the bond market, especially, we continue. Right, Chuka, thank you for your time.